A big part of my book is describing a process of change that the BBC went through from the 1980s particularly, and especially during the 1990s, up to 2008 when the financial crisis hits. And what happened then was that the BBC changed radically from a, a broadly social democratic kind of organisation to a much more pro-business, much more neoliberal organisation. When the Thatcherites um, smashed the uh, trade union movement in the 1980s, that gave rise to a shift in journalistic uh, reporting. Instead of seeing the economy as an area of conflicting interests in society, you start to portray it as being something that needs, just needs to be effectively managed by people who understand how it works, right? So sort of Oxbridge high-minded kind of reporting, which is drawing on certain neoclassical assumptions about um, how it works. And, and in, in, at the same time as that, you have people who, who, who come in, business reporters, who are more or less trying to reflect what's seen as being this kind of rising enthusiasm in society for markets and shares and this is all wrapped up with you know privatization the deregulation of the stock market the idea that we're all becoming a share shareholding kind of property owning democracy so the bbc comes very explicitly more pro-business during this time so what then happens is that by 2008 as a result of this very long process of change you have a section of people at the bbc um, and a section of uh, institutions there the business and economics reporting unit that understands the economy in a certain way and they bring a certain set of values and a certain set of sources and that that then plays out when the crisis hits because the people who they bring onto programs tended to be overwhelmingly sources from the business community from finance and the banks and and right-wing politicians so people who were giving different perspectives on how we might deal with the financial crisis if it was for example through fairly minor measures like you know counter cyclical spending um, the sort of anti-austerity voices which were coming from Keynesian economists you know very respected views of, uh, very respected economists weren't even finding any way into um, into BBC reporting so the structures of the BBC the way in which the BBC journalists saw their job um, led to certain patterns of reporting, which then lead to certain types of public understanding, certain type of elite common sense, which gets reinforced by, the, by these reporting patterns. And that influences the response to the crisis. And then that in turn leads to the super rich then entrenching their power and the corporations um, still holding on to um, the whole policy making process. So, so alternative options weren't opened up. There was a kind of a closure there.